Alright, here's my chest workout. Gonna start off with a little uh, incline bench at 155 pounds. Um, my whole workout for chest, it basically just consists of the incline, the flat, and the decline bench press. I do three sets of each, and I always increase my weight as I go for uh, each set. Um, if I'm just not in the right rhythm, then I don't increase my weight too much. Or if I don't have a spot, then I won't increase my weight too much. But you know, yeah, you just always increase your weight pretty much. And you guys gotta pay attention to how I um pinch my how do I say my my traps? Yeah, I squeeze my traps together real hard because that helps bring your out your chest a little more forward, and it'll help you put more of the focus of the push on your chest rather than on your shoulders. Oh oh oh! Oh, he made it! He made it! Oh yeah! How much is that? What two sixty five? Oh, that man's a beast. Yeah, I can usually go higher than that, but I don't have a spot. All these people are really <laughs> busy around here so they don't seem like they have the time to spot a brother. Here we go, flat bench. Um, like I just said in the last clip, same as the incline bench. Make sure you squeeze your traps together real tight. In case you don't know, your traps are that little muscle that sticks out between your neck and your uh, and your shoulders pretty much. It's, it's basically your, your back. Just squeeze your back together as, as tight as you can. And, and just go for it, you know, it brings your chest out so it helps you focus that push on your chest more than on your shoulders so you know, it's more of an effective chest workout than a shoulder workout because you know, it's really hard to isolate your chest so that's just a little tip to help you guys out And also, like I said earlier, remember flat bench, incline, and decline. Always increase your weight. Now, I haven't gone over 200. This is 205 right here. I haven't gone over 200 in a long time, so this was hard as hell for it, brother. <laughs> Just look at my face. Like I'm about to pop any second now. <laughs> I'm surprised they even. Oh, oh, oh. You made it. Oh, I'm surprised they even made that three reps right there. Yeah, I mean, now I can go like 225 again. Um, but when I made this video, bro, it was hard, man. It was real hard because a brother hasn't, a brother hasn't uh, lifted in a minute. <laughs> no, it's been probably two, two months. Yeah, just about two months because I haven't worked out since like probably a couple of weeks before school ended, you know. had to ask my partner for a spot real quick and also in this video I'm not gonna lie my rep range is absolutely pathetic um you should honestly always be getting at the least eight reps in every set but oh man it's just I was not in the groove whatsoever so this for me ooh, this was hard I'm surprised I got this uh this four reps in I barely got that look at this look at this ooh. <laughs> Like I almost shit myself. Ho 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 ho! The climb bench, time to get that gorilla tit action going, as the high shoes would say. Um, I hear you're stronger on decline, but uh, I'm not used to it. As you see, I just held the bar a little crooked. You know, form was a little sloppy, so. I didn't go too heavy on here. I think I went two, 205 on this, and I'm a, I, yeah, I dropped it down to uh, 200 because like I'm, I'm not used to doing decline. It's new to me because I've never seen a decline bench until I got my membership, at, my membership at LA Fitness. So yeah, I didn't go too heavy on this. I didn't want to uh, take any chances, you know. But you know what you're here for. 
Close your eyes. Alright, we're putting up uh, some more weight up on the bar now. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, that, that's the heaviest I want was that 205 right there. Uh, yeah, uh, also, after each of these workouts, um, after I go as heavy as I basically want to, I drop the weight all the way back down to 135 pounds, and I pretty much just burn out on that. I do a minimum of at least 10 reps of that. Um, I don't really count, to be honest, I just go until I can't really push up that last rep, you know. Well, I have to be able to push up the last rep, but you guys know what I mean, though, you know. Alright, this workout right here, these, I don't know, vertical, I guess they are, vertical pec flies, oh man, these get a pump in your chest. This is a great way to end a chest workout with this right here. When you squeeze your chest together, when you bring your arms in like that, it's just, oh, it feels so good. And I never go too heavy on this, because it's more of a burnout um, exercise, I guess. Yeah, you're just trying to burn out on this. Um, and get a good stretch to finish off your workout is oh this is the best workout ever as soon as I stood up from this I had the best pump ever I was like hell yes oh that feels good so yeah that's basically it that's the whole workout right there um yeah <laughs> It's just like everything else, and after that, I just super set with either some push ups or dips, and I'll be done with all of this exercise. Um, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the one a lot. Yeah, I'm sure as hell I'm pumped to sell right now. Alright, this little stretch you see me doing at the end of the workout is optional if you have, like, like for me, my shoulders hunch over a little bit, so I do this to bring my shoulders back. All you gotta do is stand up against the flat wall, uh, shoulders and back against the wall, and just raise your hands over your head a few times, very slowly. It'll bring your shoulders back. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is my first video on this channel. Uh, second, I don't know. Um, but yeah, subscribe to my vlog channel. It's in the description, or it's linked to this channel. And subscribe to this channel, there'll be skits and other stuff and definitely more fitness videos. So yeah, subscribe. Thanks.